So welcome, Shanu. Thanks for joining the Zoom meeting. Thank you, Kamilika. Thank you for having me on this Zoom meeting. It's wonderful, and uh, thank you for coming onto this channel. The channel's name is Seek the Soul, Seek the Truth. The truth lies within. So here we are in another episode. I think this is our second episode, Kamilika, in which we're going to talk about something which is a pressing issue right now. As for the news today, also I heard that. Uh, Certain games for the kids have been banned today by the Indian government. So, I realize that uh, some parents must be really happy because, as per our today's topic, why my kids don't listen to me anymore? Yeah. So, why is all that happening, and where are they actually occupied into? Very pertinent so, issue. Very much, very much. Yeah. It's something which is actually. I think our parents didn't have those issues because we didn't. We were not glued up to the TV completely. I think during our time we had the TV. The mobile phones were hardly there, yeah. so we were hardly. Them. Yeah. What do you yeah. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in our days, like we got the mobile probably in our college days, and now children right. get it at the age of four, five. They they start seeing the mobile. they're so accustomed to seeing the mobile and doing other activities exactly because last time i remember when i had gone to my meditation center mm -hmm. and i saw a mother who had just started learning meditation and she was so frantic about uh, giving the phone to the kid whenever the kid was shouting or crying because you know in the meditation place uh, if the kid cries you can't do meditation properly others get disturbed so she was handing over the phone to the child so that the child stays quiet so imagine now we were given those small gifts so as to make us quiet now people have to buy a 30000 20000 10000 phone to keep the right. kids quiet even parents give their apple ipad also apple iphones also to their kids and the kids are play, playing this fruit ninja and everything on mobile i sometimes feel like i wish our parents were also so generous like them exactly <laughs> so you see there's a huge gap which has come into this uh, scenario where uh, parents have been replaced by the mobile phone or parents have been replaced by the television or parents have been replaced by certain activities or behaviors and uh, i think th this is something which is a pressing issue you are right which we need to talk about on this channel today and i i hope that a lot of uh, parents will be who are listening if they love to listen to this they can go ahead and subscribe and like this channel and they can share whatever we're going to share in the couple of minutes ahead over here so kamilika what do you think we should go ahead with what is the pressing first thing which we can talk about over here in I this think, scenario uh, i think like uh, one thing which we were discussing also that you know parents also need to change their behavior i think if we can start with that aspect and then slowly right. move towards the children thing exactly so <laughs> yeah i understand that because uh, i now realize uh, what my parents must have faced when they used to ask me to sit down and have my food and instead of looking at the television or you know watching the television just have a family time which parents are missing out on nowadays so where is it starting from i believe that uh, the main thing is as our children they see us as a parent as a hero and a heroine the father is the hero and mother is the heroine so they see their own hero and heroine acting throughout the day in a certain manner in which they are involved in those habits or they are also involved in those gadgets which are pulling their attention and the children don't get so much of attention through them also so i believe every karma in spirituality says as the action so is the reaction so when the kids also see that they're not getting that attention from the parents they are so busy on onto the tv onto the news onto the phone onto the whatsapp onto the facebook onto the instagram that when a child is asking a sweet question and dad how was your day that what should i do what should i buy what should i do in my studies i think that's the time when parents when they don't give the attention it actually comes back to the parents when they are wanting attention from the kids or they are desiring that attention from the kids or when they want the kids to listen to them so i think uh, the hero and the heroine have to be set into the right place their acting has to be made perfect otherwise the followers the fans who are the kids are not going to follow them 
very true shanu yeah. and even i also feel that that you know parents in this modern times i would also include my friends like who have kids like around say age 5 6 years they are losing their patience mm-hmm. also they do not have the perseverance yeah. so instead of right. like you know our parents used to encourage us that okay do a painting read a book but for that right, parents also need to give that time to that children their children right mm-hmm. like i cannot just ask mm-hmm. my child that okay uh, i give you the painting uh, material i give you the drawing book now you start drawing the kid will want you know you no. said if i don't have the time i will easily give my mobile phone and i will just say that okay watch something over there and don't uh, like you know disturb me so i think parents also exactly. need to like encourage their children to do something more creative more something which uh, like you know which can uh, enhance their skills probably exactly and see like in a couple of videos i had also we were talking on the same channel if my viewers are listening to it they can go ahead and see uh, regarding alpha parenting and all in that i had also mentioned one very crucial thing is that uh, the peace of mind or the peace in the environment in the family or in the house itself also decides what is going to be the condition of the child so if there is complete focus of the parents on the self if they have developed certain habits good habits and certain good behaviors if they're not fighting in front of the kids if they're not completely 24/7 on to the mobile phones stuck over there if they have their own good habits in which they are nurturing themselves and they are creating a kind of a peaceful atmosphere in the house automatically those vibrations are going to affect the kids also so as a as a parent am i good enough to be followed that's the first question i need to ask myself am i a role model am i somebody who is looking or seeking for identity from others or looking for praise from others because that is what is going to trickle into my kids because see kids most of all why are they glued up onto the television or onto the mobile phones because they want to be identified with something it's an identification crisis actually so we all want to be identified with something let's say you go and see a movie and you come back right and you ask your friend have you seen this movie and friend says i haven't seen this movie and you start uh, bantering upon or you start scolding him or you start talking about you haven't seen this movie what's wrong with you you're not up to the mark of being my friend or you're not good enough to be my friend you don't know anything you see so these kind of uh, scenarios actually push even the kids to be in uh, games like pubg which has been banned in india today like are you not playing pubg oh my god you don't know about pubg and that's the kind of response which we get so somewhere or the other the identification self identification is that question over here yeah. the self esteem is that question over here what do i want to be identified by so as a parent do i have my strong identity or i also depend upon these kind of things i i need to be up to mark with the news so as to <clears throat> talk with my friends so as to gossip with my friends so as to show that yes i have so much of knowledge sometimes as we had discussed in a couple of videos ahead with on some videos that you know even the habit of having cigarette or drink is a peer pressure absolutely similarly over here trying to be deflected into something instead of the family because who meets up do friends meet up and talk about my father is so great and he has got such a good habit and all in the present scenario is there anybody who talks good about the parents when friends meet up no what do you think amrika does anybody talk about their parents and family when they meet up yeah well like i don't think so like uh, they talk such things about parents like you know like i as a child i used to feel very proud because my dad never used to smoke he used to drink very very occasionally so it was something which right. i always used to and i still hit i i won't say i hate but i dislike men like you know smoking like you know in front of everyone like even if you have that addiction you should go somewhere like you know where people don't feel suffocated and something so i have seen that thing and honestly children ko to chhod do like one of my um, acquaintances like she recently told me like during this lockdown period like you know when this right. when we saw after this lockdown that the alcohol shops have opened up and people were like men women like 
you know, people were going crazy. Like probably men were captured in those videos, but even women were also going crazy. And she just mentioned <laughs> that you know, my father was smart, so he, मतलब made the stocks beforehand only. And then, oh. was that an accusation <laughs> or was that an acknowledgement? I really couldn't understand that. <laughs> but it just came out like you know he's a smart man and he right. he really did not worry about it because he already made his stock so you know if she as a grown up woman if she can say something like this i do not know how children will be talking about their parents because we are in exactly. that generation right now yeah exactly there's a huge generation gap between the youngsters or the or the kids now and our childhood yeah so we had so much to talk about our family things with our with our other friends and relationships my mother is like this my father is like this that present scenario of the people so yes a role like a father so what values are we giving to our kids is through our thoughts our words and through our actions so as a parent do i even know what is the right value and what is the wrong value to have what are the right trends to follow and what are the wrong trends to follow so sleeping late at night let's say if a parent is sleeping at 2 o'clock after watching a movie 1 o'clock 2 o'clock after watching a movie and you expect the child to do well in the exams or to get up in the morning and do well in studies or you want the child to wake up well a parent needs to know that 4 o'clock early in the morning on in the hills over here in Darjeeling majority of the kids they get up at around 4 o'clock and they start studying that's a fabulous behavior or a habit even my wife she gets up at 4 o'clock and she studies or she used to study when she was in school and that is a normal time but if the parent wasn't getting up at 3:30 with the child before 4 o'clock so question number 1 no and does the parent know that 4 o'clock onwards morning is the best time because that's the time when there's no disturbance from outside and the child can focus correctly properly we call it the amrit vela or a brahma muhurt in india and that's the best time to actually imbibe all the good qualities to meditate to have complete focus and that's the time it's been proven that the memory is also very sharp that means a child can recall a lot of things but if the parent is sleeping till let's say 9 o'clock and sleeping from 1 o'clock till 9 o'clock and missing out on that complete schedule what is the child going to learn from the parent so do we have our life charted out in a disciplined manner because what we expect from our kids do we follow it ourselves or not am i keeping the discipline am i making my own routine proper and still if the child doesn't listen to me second thing which comes over even let's say i'm getting up in early in the morning at 4 o'clock and the child still doesn't listen to me am i somebody who is scolding the child pressurizing the child pushing the child to do certain things that's the second thing which we need to learn that a child knows the psychology that if a parent wants something from me if he's asking me to do something there must be something for the benefit of the parent and that is what the parents are doing nowadays they're bribing the kids to do certain things so i'll give you a chocolate or i'll give you a present so that you do things for how long can that be done very true and there is another thing also shanu in this regard i would like to bring up that is you know like i mm. feel like parents are nowadays killing the imagination of a child like when a okay. child is making a painting like he's imagining or she's imagining something leave aside painting mm. also like i as a child i remember i used to play the school school game like being a teacher mm. and teaching children so i used to like you know probably narrate a story to my imaginary students around in front of me or play say uh, like you know household kitchen stuff my one of my cousin right. brother he used to uh, play like you know war games like battlefield there are enemies coming with the guns in hand i don't see children playing such games anymore nowadays like exactly. outdoor games you leave aside but even in house also i do not see any kids playing any such games anymore exactly exactly and and uh, what could be the reason for that is what i believe is the reason for that is because we as kids if i was in their place i would be following my parents i'll be copying my parents so in our present scenario we are so busy with the info media i would say 
so happy with the intermedia that we have forgotten to live our life beyond the four walls, beyond the screen in front of our eyes. So even even like technology is good, <clears throat> but technology being a part of my life completely twenty four seven is not at all good. So how do I spend my time? How do I spend my time in such a manner that I can be away from these things? Like in my case, sometimes <clears throat> when I go in the morning for a walk, I don't carry my phone with me. Nowadays, sometimes when I go out also to the market, I don't carry my phone because <clears throat> I need to be away from it for some time. I need to realize that maybe the technology is taking over my life. Mm-hmm. There's so much of data, so much of information, but I need only a limited amount of data and information. I don't need to know everything which is going on in the world, and that's one of the reasons why there's no peace of mind. Imagine your time and my time. How much were we loaded with information? How much did we have? How much did we know? And the present scenario, where every second we are being bombarded with so much of information on YouTube on channels, that it becomes difficult. So I think, uh, what do you say if we do a meditation on this, so that we channelize our mind? And I think we have uh, spoken for more than ten minutes for our viewers. Yeah, and we can go ahead with the. Next episode, I think, where we can discuss some more things yeah, in sure. detail. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much, Anu. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So let's do a small meditation for one minute. Okay. Right. So let's uh, sit erect. Take a deep breath. If you want to close your eyes, keep your back straight. If you want to close your eyes, we can close our eyes. as a parent let me focus on my unique identity what am i doing on a daily basis that is either letting me become someone who's a role model someone who's a hero or a heroine to my children am i engrossed or dependent upon outer information outer aspects like a mobile phone screen like the television the info tube i am so dependent upon them that i don't have time for my children when they want me to listen to them am i spending enough time to care for them or has this info media taken over my life is my mind focused on them when they are talking to me and when they are expressing to me or at the back of my mind i have got something else going on about something which is coming on the info media So can I pause for a second and then tell my mind that let's focus on to what my child is saying because as per the law of karma what I give back is what I get So from today onwards let me put off the info media and let me put all the attention to my child in expressing let me help my child to emotionally develop by expressing their feelings towards me and not seek the expression of feelings through the info media through the games and other platforms which distract them which make them disconnected to me in the long term let me spend my time with them let me take this first step ahead today on let me make this a strong confirmed action to start spending time beyond any distractions around 
ओम शांति so i think kamalika this is good enough and if our viewers have got any questions or any comments they can put on the comments in the link below and they can press on the like button and subscribe button and thank you so much for your time kamalika we are thank you so much to you too shamu for your time thank you yeah thank you see you soon then in the next episode bye bye bye